I'm Anil Mall with the Canadian Securities Exchange. I'm here with Zishan Haider, Chief Corporate Development Officer for MedMen. Zishan, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Um, why don't we start off by you telling us and our audience a little bit about MedMen and your role there and what you guys do. Yeah, sure. So MedMen is a California-based retailer for cannabis. Um, we have, we're currently in 12 states across the U.S. with the primary footprint being in California, Nevada, New York, and Florida. Um, our primary goal from early on was to be in kind of the biggest consumer markets within the U.S. for cannabis. Yep. And we believe to build a retail brand in the space, um, we have to go build a significant market share in those four markets. Okay. Uh, that being said, we're, we currently have 30 stores that are operating right now. We're licensed for 77 total stores. Um, over the next two years, we'll be building out the remaining footprint of licenses that we currently own. Great. Um, can you maybe comment a little bit about, on the management team that you guys have uh, put together to move this project? Yeah, sure. So I think everything starts with the vision that Adam and Andrew kind of set from early on. Um, you know, their goal from day one was to build the biggest cannabis brand in the world. And they've understood from early on that in order to do so, um, we've had to kind of combine you know, best in class cannabis operators with people from other industries, whether it's CPG, tech, apparel, uh, finance. Um, recently, we had two kind of big key hires, one being our new CFO. Okay. Uh, so Michael Kramer joined us from Apple. Um, and Forever 21, a number of other kind of big retail companies out there. And then Ben Cook, um, who we hired as COO, um, he was head of supply chain at Walmart. He also had experience with Apple and Target. So I think we've been able to bring in kind of best in, town, uh, best in class talent from other industries into kind of our ecosystem. Well, those are some big heavy hitting names there. And, um, you know, of course, with what you're telling me now, MedMen, I. From what I understand, obviously you guys have a number of different dispensaries, I think 72 licenses you said in total? 77. 77. Yeah. Um, are there any upcoming milestones investors can look out for other than what you guys have already announced? Sure, yeah. So a few weeks ago we announced our kind of run rate revenue, which was 200 million, which would make us the largest kind of cannabis company in the world. I think going forward it's going to be more about building our market share in some of the core markets. So kind of a big initiative for 2019 and 2020 is increasing our market share in a place like California, where we already have a 5% market share. California is projected to be an $11 billion market at maturity, um, and everything kind of starts in California. So that's going to be a number one priority. And then in addition to California, the states I mentioned earlier, so a place like Nevada, where we currently have three stores in Las Vegas, yeah. building market share there. And then the two East Coast markets like New York and Florida, um, those markets are currently medical only. Um, and then as they kind of flip to recreational over the next couple of years, we'll be looking kind of deep in our market share there as well. Do you find that uh, there are any regulatory hurdles that you guys have to kind of still face, being that the industry is still in its infancy? Yeah, I think um, the regulatory kind of overhang on this industry, we believe, is starting to ease. Um, there's been significant momentum over the last 12 months with respect to cannabis legalization, yeah. both states going to medical and medical states going to recreational. Um, we see those as opportunities for us. Um, the biggest kind of two key catalysts that we're looking forward to are one, New York. Um, we believe New York will go recreational sometime in the next 12 months, okay. um, which will be one of the biggest cannabis markets in the world. And then Florida is another state with fo that we're focused on in terms of kind of the regulatory hurdles that um, will come off uh, over the next 12 months. You've kind of given us a lot of detail now with what you guys are doing. What's next for MedMen? Yeah, so I think for next for MedMen is continuing to roll out our retail footprint. Um, even though we are vertically integrated in every market that we're in, um, the way that we're going to win in this industry is to establish the best in class retail footprint. Um, we kind of liken our business model to that of Whole Foods. Um, we think the industry is headed more towards being retail heavy and retailer retailers in general having most of the value long term. Um, if we can kind of give the best retail experience to our consumers, um, we think we can build kind of you know significant customer lifetime value by having those consumers in our databases. And I think so that all starts with California, Nevada, and New York, and making sure that we're continuing to execute in those markets. Got it. Now speaking of the retail experience, I know we're going to be um, taking a visit to your dispensary over on Robertson Avenue. Uh, I'm excited to take a look and see what uh, what you guys are up to there. But again, um, as a company that's listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange, how did you find that process of getting listed? Like, was it easy? Was it? Uh, so definitely wasn't easy. Uh, it took a lot longer than we initially thought. That being said, we expected it to take, um, you know, 
close to a year to complete and we started the process a long time ago so you know starting in 2017 we started making sure that our financials and our governance um, the infrastructure that we had was one of a public company knowing that this day might come one day um, so I think that process in general companies who are who have aspirations to go public should start that process early on knowing that it's going to take longer than expected of course um, again we look forward to MedMen's growth in the upcoming months and years uh, thank you very much for your time yeah thank you for having me Thanks.